for this particular project, a company wants to analyze their data and recommend which staff to sack or who to appoint as regional manager. They submitted this data set of their sales in different countries over a period of two years. The objectives for this project are who should be fired and who should be appointed as the overall sales manager, which region, country, should they set up a second branch and why. If the company wants to increase production, which products would you recommend and why? Which month has the highest sale? What is the total sales in 2021 and 2022? Total number of white chalk boxes sold in 2022. Who sold the highest number of Munaka Honey Choco in Australia in 2021? Use Excel to get and prepare this data for modeling. Okay, so this is the data set. We got it from chando.org. You can follow Chando on YouTube and other channels. It's very good. Okay, so this uh, the names of the salesperson, the geography, the different regions where they operate, the products, the dates, the amounts, and the boxes. This data is on the platform. We'll also add this link so you can download it via Google Drive. Click on File, go to Download, and see Microsoft Excel. So we have the file in our downloads. Maxel is open. I want to bring in the file. Go to your data tab and go to get tab from file from workbook. The file is in my download. This is a file and I click import. So this will work if you're using Excel 2016, 2019. If you're using Excel 2013 to come in a different format. I have the file here, table one. I'll click on transform data because I want to clean the data. This will open up my Power Query Editor. We have the salespersons, the geography, the products, the dates, the amounts, and the boxes. So the columns are okay. Now the next thing we want to is confirm the data type. You can click on this button to check the data type. We're okay with this data type as text. We're okay with this data type as text. As text, this data type should be as date. But here it's showing as number, so we need to change it to date. So change the data type to dates, replace current. Good, we have the data type. This data type is amount, supposed to be in currency, and we change it to currency, replace current. And this data type is the number of boxes, it should be in whole numbers, this is okay. There's one thing we need to do, we need to check the total number of rows and columns that we're working with for this in these data sets. So if I go to transform, I can go to statistics, and I can count the values. We have a total of 3,791. Cancel this to go back. So now that we're here, let's start the cleaning process. When you have data sets that is like this, always use load more to be able to see all. Okay, we have Chess and Chess Bunel. This is the same person and we have an error here that came in. So we need to remove that asterisk. So what we can do is we can select this, right click on it, copy. Cancel the steps, click on the, I will say replace values. So we want to replace values with this, and we we'll click on OK. Check again. OK. Next, we check on the geography column. Now we can see the spaces here, and we can use trim, the trim function, to remove those spaces. So I do trim just to make sure that we have a safe line here. I'll transform all this to uppercase. And let's look if there's any error. Australia, Canada, India, New Zealand, UK, USA. This is okay. Then we come to this section and we load more. Okay, we have an error here, 99% dash dark. So the correct answer should be 99% dark and pure. So we want to correct this error. So click on column and replace values. Good. I noticed one other one. Okay, we have white chalk and white chalk. OK, 
Okay, let's load more. Okay, we have Munahone Chukos and this. So let's also replace this. Okay, I'll just trim this and I'll just trim this. Now let's look at the date column. The date column is okay. And we'll look at the amount column. The amount column is okay. Then we look at the boxes column. Okay, in the boxes column we have zero. So let's see what is in zero number of boxes. So we have no box was sold here, no amounts on this particular day. So we need to remove the data. Somebody initially asked me why should we remove the data? If we don't remove this data, it will affect us when we're calculating the total average because it will include these two persons, these two rows of data. This actually means that it was not sale. So we don't need to include this in our data sets. So now how do we remove this? Simply we will check zero from the data sets. So we have our data this way. At this point, every table you're working with is normal practice that there should be a primary key. There's no primary key on any of these tables. So we'll add a primary key. So go to your add column tab, you will see index column. You will see from zero from one. Let's add a primary key from one. So this is our index key. And let's move it to the beginning. Move to beginning. We have this data set cleaned and ready for modeling. Let's check the total number of rows that we have now. Count, count values. Now we have 3,789. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven columns. We can change the name of the table to sales to sales. Now that we're true, we can close and load. This will load the table to Excel. We have our table set and we're ready for modeling. I'll see you in the next one.